Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try this new, uh, and I'm pretty sure it is new, uh, Banquet Mega Pizza Double Stuffed. This one is the three cheese, two layers of crust stuffed with marinara sauce, mozzarella, parmesan, and romano cheeses. There are two slices in the box. That looks pretty awesome. It is 13 ounces or 368 grams. Uh, keep frozen. It is microwavable. Uh, 43 grams of protein. Let's see, we bought this at Meyer. It was $3.79, which isn't bad for the size meal. It's pretty pretty heavy, actually. So, one slice is 440 calories. Two slices is 280 calories, which is what you get in the package. And there's the other info. Calculate out whatever you need. There you go. So, it looks like you can do this in the oven. Of course, we don't do ovens on this channel because we don't generally have ovens at work. But there's the oven directions just in case you're at home. Um, we're going to microwave, so we're going to, it's really tiny writing for me, um, pull tear strip along the carton edge and peel back top of carton, separate lid by tearing along perforation, create tray with silver surface uh, facing up. So basically just bait, fold it back on itself. Um, Remove plastic overwrap, separate slices at the seam, place both pizza slices on the silver surface and place tray on top of platform microwave and high for five and a half to six and a half i'll probably just do um i'll probably do six just to be sure um check the food is thoroughly cooked let's stand for two minutes then enjoy so okay so that's not a pull tab there's a pull tab okay and then you pull this back just like you do it on any other pizza frozen pizza uh, meal just like that and you're gone this one's wrapped up really tightly hold on a pair of scissors so i won't have to fight with it i'll tell you what the, the pizza slices are pretty good size i mean that's a, a pretty Pretty big piece of pizza right there. So we're gonna separate this. Oh yeah, credit shop. Yeah. I don't know how you're supposed to separate that at the seams. There we go. <laughs> that, was, that was not as easy as I thought it would be. Um, so anyway, that's gonna go just like that. I'm gonna get in the microwave for six seconds or six minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I had it on this paper, I mean the paper towel, just in case it did this. You can see where it kind of ran over the edge there, and I didn't want that all over my microwave, so I put the paper towel underneath there, which I'm glad I did. Now you just need to basically break it away from uh, the silver tray. It looked like it cooked really well, though. Um, it got a little stuck and crispy on the edges, but that's usually these do. So you just take you a fork or a knife or something and just kind of work your way around it. And I personally like the little uh, brown pieces of cheese that that it cooks little crispy cheese pieces. So I'm gonna move this out of the way And put it on this plate There we go So that's what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna take it over the table Let it cool off for just a minute but then take it over the table and I'll be back I didn't really let it sit very long, but it's hard to tell but it's stuffed. I guess there's like two layers of crust there like there's one at the bottom and one there and it looks like there might have been stuff in the middle it's hard to tell honestly um, but it's got stuff on the top so that's ultimately all that matters it didn't crisp up very well on the bottom you can see how floppy the crust is um, you can even see on the bottom it got the edge um, but that's it Flavor-wise, it's your, it's your typical um, frozen pizza. It's not bad. And it's not bad at all. The cheese, you get tons of cheese. The um, You get that kind of, uh, I don't know, that chewy, stringy kind of cheese texture. So that's good. Uh, the sauce is good. Has a little bit of spice to it, not much. Overall, the flavors are pretty good. If um, if you can't can't handle like 
any spice, like any heat at all. Um, you may not enjoy this because it does give just a little bit of like a, almost like a pepperoni kind of burn in the back of your throat, you know, if you've ever eaten a pepperoni. Um, kind of gives you that kind of feel, but nothing like really bad. If you like, if you just like anything that's got a little spice to it, you'll be fine. Um, I really like the piece of cheese that got crispy. Those are the best. Um, overall, it's okay. It's not, um, it's not the best. Definitely not the worst. Um, I've had much, much worse, trust me. Um, but, but it's good. It's good for what it is. You get quite a bit of it. Um, the, the stuff part doesn't necessarily work as well because it really, it really does run out pretty badly. But, um, but you do get plenty of filling, so I'm not complaining there. Um, overall, I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I do like the flavors. I like that little bit of spice in there. Um, like I said, it's nothing to burn your mouth off or anything, but there's just a little spice, just a little spice to add to your, to the flavor. Um, it's got a good cheese, got a good sauce. The crust is okay. It's a little floppy, but you know, what do you expect? It's microwave pizza, right? Um, if you put it in the oven, that may be gone. You don't have to worry about it. It'd be crisped up on the bottom, but for the microwave, you get a little soggy crust. So, but it's not wet. It's just floppy. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.